you. <laughs> Hi, my name is Perla Narvaez Castañeda. I am a freshman at Omaha South. Um, I do have to issue a trigger warning if you do if you are sensitive to any material with um, sexual assault or sexual harassment. Um, this is a trigger warning, so it's a homicidal brief. <coughs> it's been a week since it all happened. A week, and I foolishly thought that I would be fine by now. It has been a week, and yet I still wake up with nightmares. There are nights where I wake up in bed. My, there are nights where I wake up in a cold sweat, my waist and my back burning. It's as if your hands and touch became seared into my skin the second you touched it. There are nights where I want to cry and cry and scream, beg for my father to hold me, to protect me from you like he did the week before. Yet I sit, my mouth agape in a silent plea for help. A silent plea of help for someone to save me from the fear that your grimy hands and horrid breath had chained me to. It's been a month now and my initial shock, it's, it's fled. I no longer wake up crying with fear. I instead wake up in a heavy silence. My body feels heavy and my back burns red hot with shame. I feel dirty and guilty. I feel disgusted. I feel as if I had deserved what had happened, and I feel as if I am the one to blame. If I had stayed close to Afa, if I had pushed you away, then maybe this wouldn't have happened. Maybe if my skirt hadn't hugged my hips or accentuated my waist, maybe if my shirt hadn't seemed so tight around my breast, then maybe this wouldn't have happened. It's because of you that I learned to loathe my body. I learned to be ashamed of who I am, and I, I learned that I am dirty, disgusting. I feel as if I am nothing. I'm sorry. It isn't until it's been half a year after the incident that I learned to embrace who I am. I learned to love my body once more. I learned that to love the very things that I once thought to be so horrible. I learned that I am beautiful and I learned of so many other people who have gone through what I have. I learned to no longer stay silent. I learned to no longer freeze and I learned to talk to my parents and family. I finally know how to live again. I know how to laugh and smile. I begin to realize that some things just happen and they aren't my fault. But most importantly, I begin to realize that I am a survivor and not your victim. Yeah.